Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode what I'd like to do is a little bit more of um, advanced rocketry. Now I'm saying a little bit. There are a few things I've actually, a couple of comments I'd like to rate, uh, look at and one of them was by um, Sir Harry. What do you tell me I have to get the jetpack working I have to put it with a hydrogen tank in there. So I've actually done it already. I'd actually done it in a previous episode, but uh, we won't talk about that. So basically, I've got here hydrogen and hydrogen. I thought when I built this jetpack, it would have had enough space for the hydrogen in there, but it, it didn't. So you see here, the hydrogen is not completely full. So you do need extra tanks. So I probably didn't need to build the jetpack with these type of super high pressure tanks, a bit expensive for that. Probably could have used the cheapest ones that that they had. Now. I know how to pronounce his name, but it's, uh, I call him Chatu. Chatu Ban Mesquita, I think is what it is. He says I was putting down um, chunk loaders and I could save a bit of frames per second chunk loading. In fact, one of the chunk loaders is, let's go and look, it's down by the rocket here. And what I was thinking was, and I think it's actually the case, I'm not 100% sure if our env environmental tech machines do have um, their own built in chunk loader, but I wasn't getting very much erodium ore from this at all, so I think since I put it put it down, it does seem to be working better, which is uh, also interesting. Did that rocket come back from the moon? Oh, it did it really? I probably can't see what's in there if it's got anything in it at all. Now let's have a look. <laughs> Ah, mm -hmm. So we've got a rocket loader and a rocket unloader, and I don't think the rocket unloader is actually linked. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Well, what I'll do first of all is to build some satellites. Let's do this. So in this episode what I'd like to do is to build some satellites, because it has changed a bit since uh, Forever Stranded. And you need these things in here. These wireless transceivers to transfer data. And the reason for that is that these things have deprecated. In fact, the recipes disappeared in the previous version of, uh, when I say previous, 1.3. We're actually on 1.4 at the moment, plus a few more digits. So these have all disappeared. The items are still there, I guess, in case somebody had already made some uh, of these and got them working, and then they're quite happy with them. That they didn't delete the items, and they would have to start again. So we've got these things instead. So let's have a look at satellites. We built an optical s sensor, which I think is, is okay. We could also a composition satellite. Now, we need two optical sensors for that. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, I'm a bit short of glass. Well, that's no big deal. Let's have a look at the recipe for that. Yeah, we can do some more. So as that does work, sometimes it doesn't work. I never quite figured out yet how it's working. So we've got two of those. We've already got a tracking circuit, basic circuit, and some silicon wafers. So we can make one of these composition satellites. The next one we could do is a mass detector, which is made for <laughs> two more of these. That's just lucky that I actually made some more glass, wasn't it? That wasn't planned. A basic circuit, and basically it's the same with the lithium crystal. We should have the lithium crystals on this. So there we go. And then we have microwave transmitter. That's something completely different. And what that does is it basically like lets you send power. So you can have put a satellite up and it will actually send the power back down to Earth or wherever. And this is an ore mapper. And I don't know what we use that for. Does it have a use? No. Ore mapper I think is not used in the satellite. It might be. I've got an ore scanner. Can we actually make an ore scanner? We can actually make an ore scanner. But I don't think these are satellites that we actually use because we've basically got mass and composition of the two uh, and distance of the three of the three um, items that we need for the doing astro, astro mining or um, mining in the asteroid bodies. So let's have a look. So we've got everything we need, I think. So we need some more cells. Did I make the cells for that? I think I have got those already prepared. So we've got some battery, we've got some data chips, we need some of those at threes each and we've got some where have they gone to some basic solar panels 
Do you know, I might make some more solar panels. I don't know how much power these need, so let's just do that. The recipe for that is these. So we need six of those will make a big one. So let's just shift click that out 42 because then they ran out of gold plates. And then actually that I couldn't be bothered to work it out to be honest with you, seven. So we're making two sort of lights, so we could put six in. Okay. And leave these here. Let's get some gold out of the system. Let's shove that into the compactor here so we get some gold plates. It doesn't really matter which type we use. So let's go down to the to the uh, satellite, the rocket place, and let's build another satellite rocket. Now, for, of course, I've got to remove this because I'm not doing cargo rockets at the moment. So we'll remove the linker, and then we'll break out the middle square, and we'll also put into that a landing pad because we always need a landing pad. Station docking port. Have I not? Guess I have. Good launch pad. Yeah, I get a bit confused between those. I do apologise. There. Are they're named a bit strangely sometimes. So here we go. Remove that, that one and we put down in its place one of those. And then we can build a rocket. So I'm going to build a slightly more expensive rocket than I've been building for satellites, hoping that they'll come back <laughs> and we can see them. So in the bag I've got the materials prepared. So we've got some rocket and fuel tanks, some rocket engines, a satellite machine structure, not machine structure, a satellite bay. Think of the things we need for that. We'll also need some of these. I've got seven instead of seven. I need to make five then, didn't I? And I think that will do. Depends if I could make a an advanced motor rocket once we compare the difference between the two rockets. So let's build the satellites first of all. Now I think that the satellite assembler, satellite built it is here, and I've got I didn't make one of these an empty chassis, chassis. Let's make another empty chassis because we need to make two. Now I have extended the range of the Wi-Fi so it should come down here. So we need to make a extended range one. Where's it gone to? This thing. Sat empty chassis. And we're short of aluminium sheets. Okay. Great. <laughs> I have to go back up to make some more aluminium sheets. So let's get some aluminium sheets out of it. Oh, we got 40. Let's take those. 20 will do fine. And uh, some aluminium ingots, which we haven't got any aluminium ingots. Let's take some aluminium ore and pulverize that. I was actually making some iron ore here. 32 made 64 and gave me five pulverized nickel in, in exchange as well, or extras. So let's go and make these and then go back down to the satellite builder so that'll make 18 sheets from from 20 I'm sorry 20 sheets from 20 plates won't it so you can then put those into the system Oh, we can do it from here can't we? because it's actually still it should still but the rest of it should be still there in my there we go so we've got two of those now that's what we do need so let's go down back to the rocket so we've got one of those did i make some satellite <laughs> id chips no i didn't oh right. quickly make a satellite id chip shouldn't be too difficult i think that's the satellite id chip Okay, it's just a plain one of those, so let's just get those crafted. Oh, in fact, look, it's actually already there. I just want two of those. So now we can put, oh, we can actually start to build the thing. So, put that in there, and then we make, which one are we going to do first? Let's do the mass detector one. So we put that into there, that becomes the master data part of it. And then it needs uh, data cells, which we'll put into here like this. And then it also needs pa um, power. I was going to use non the, not the basic one, wasn't I? I was going to use the slightly more expensive version of it. And that should be it. We should be able to build a satellite. A 
And sure enough, now we've got a mass ID scanner and it's got an ID of one. Which is great. So the next thing, we need to put this into a rocket. I was going to build a rocket, wasn't I? So, let's put down two motors to start with. Where have they gone to? And then we're going to put down six engines. And then on top of that, we'll put the satellite bay. So I'm actually halving these, and every time I halve them, of course, it goes back into my into my hand because it's moving them across. So it's a bit of waste of time, really. So that's the empty one, and this is the mass ID scanner one. So we should be able to put this into here now, like that, and then we should be able to build the rocket rocket assembly machine that scan that should be plenty. Yep, it's not too bad, and we can build it clear for lift off. So that's now ready. So now, oh, actually, it is linked into what? You also need to put this into the satellite terminal. So let's, that didn't connect. Let's see if this one will work. That's the unprogrammed one. Where's the program one gone to? Did I take it out of here? Oh, strange what have I done with it <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't put it in here did I no I did put the right thing in. oh I did put the wrong thing in there okay that was very smart so I'll put the satellite into that I'm sure you saw that but anyway so now we can put this into here like this okay there'll be no link but I think we can connect to it but it won't connect yet because it's not even sent off so we can actually then send this rocket off it's fueled up so we can launch it. So it's sending that spotlight into space with a <laughs> transfer. <laughs> you didn't see that, did you? Um, it has a little, it has a little um, bit on the side here which wasn't supposed to be sent up with it. That was the, that was the data terminal, the transmitter thingy, wherever it's gone to. This one here, the wireless transmitter. I, I don't know where you put this thing. Maybe I need to move this. So. Let's take this out of here. I think it needs power. So I'm going to move this thing out of the way because it's really not in a, an ideal spot at the moment. Let's put it down here. It doesn't need to be anywhere near the actual rocket itself as far as I can understand. So let's put one of these wires transceivers onto here like this. I don't know how if we have to link those together or not. So now we want the one, that's that one in there. And the rocket monitoring station here should say it's actually ready. So now it's up, which is good. So now we should be able to link. Not enough power, of course, there's not enough power. Let's get some more power to this. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a bit awkward as it happens. I'm going to do it differently. I'll do it like this. It's going to run it round the cable, some form of cable. So what should we run round? Let's just pick the one we're going to use. Let's say, uh, let's do flux duct will do fine. Don't need the grasshopper or locust. So I should be able to simply run this. Oh, does that work? Does it allow me to connect to this? Oh, it does. Oh. And I didn't need to do that at all, did I? Okay, let's remove these. Ah, something new. Didn't know that. I thought you would only connect to one face of this, but it looks like it's connecting to multiple faces. Let's remove this. Oh, that makes life a bit easier. <laughs> okay, let's get the one to put the and put the stuff back. Good. So now, not enough power. Not enough power. 
they're not connected up after all of that effort. I didn't, did I? <laughs> oh, that was smart. Try again. Ah, I see now it's actually working correctly as it should have done. So it says it's got data stored in here. So we've actually got 10 data as it says, and now we've got 11. So it's actually working, it's collecting data. Now we would actually need a second satellite terminal. Let's do that if we can. For a second satellite, of course. Now, satellite terminal might be rocket monitoring station. It's a bit similar, Astro Body Data Processor, satellite terminal. I don't think we can make this directly. We're going to make certainly some of these. We should make a stack of these, shouldn't I, really? We seem to be using them all the time. Um, whatever that was is finished off whatever we were using. Um, and I didn't spot it. I think it's carbon. We'll probably just make these. A couple of comp repeaters, and that should be enough, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we can make a sat second satellite terminal. We're going to put this satellite down here like this. I think I'll put it. Where's it gone to here? Now, I don't know how these work. But I put some on here, and I was hoping that they would actually link across. So maybe they do. Well, let's try that again. Let's try and putting this one on this the back face this time. I think I put those somewhere unsent in a bad place. Where did I put them? <laughs> oh, dear me. There we go. Actually, where the spacesuit should have gone, but I've taken the spacesuit. Okay, left it like that. Now, I'm not sure if we have to do anything with these for these to connect. Let's have a look at this one. So, if I say they've got 21 data now and I send this store to buffer, that should store to the chip, but we haven't got a chip in there, which we could, of course, put in. Let's put in a chip. I think I've got a couple of chips around. No. I thought I had one spare for that. Let's move this stuff out of here because I I've got I'll tell you what, let's build the ship. let's build the second rocket first of all. So we need the empty chassis, we need the unprogrammed chip, we need the composition satellite, and then we can use Did they? Did that thing take all of those out of there? It shouldn't have done, should it? I think it's only supposed to take one. Oh, okay, we're going to make some more then. That's not so. Actually, that's not so good because <laughs> it, it only accepts three, so it's used up the other ones. So let's. Oh, maybe the solar panels. Let's have the recipe for this one, and I think okay, we need some gold plates, which we've got in here. Let's put those back into here like that. Let's make some more of these. Let's cut that off and actually make the, the big one. I don't know whether it's important or not. So we've got three of those. That's fine. So then we need to make some more of the um, The circuits. So now one of those is basically I've got the stuff in the other place. We're going to make about five, I think. Yes. I've got six. Six will do fine. And basically, it's one redstone, one emerald, and one basic circuit, which should make a data chip. So basic circuits are in here. So we've got six. So that these three are going down here, and it should be making data storage units. That's right. And I think that's all we need. So that's the I.O. and that's the power. And then we can build it, I think. So now we've got satellite two. Now we can actually go and build the rocket. Let's build the rocket next. 
Let's have a good use an advanced rocket and do it similar to the last one. But I'm going to do the five up one version of my rockets. And if we can actually work with four with this motor, let's just see if it'll actually work with four. scan that. Indeed it can, which is actually great because you it's even a bit smaller than the other one. So let's just um, build that this time and do it in slightly different order. So now I need to put into this one the satellite. So that's the composition of the satellite, that's the one we want. Let's put that into there and then that should fuel up Ah, it's ready so we can actually launch this one of course it's it should have the fueling station here it should have redstone attached to that let me just see if we've got some redstone in here i just forgot forgotten it'll be in the bag here won't it yep indeed it is so we can simply bring this across like that connect that in oh it doesn't work I have to do it maybe you have to get back one more block And there he goes. So this, we can watch this one. That's going to go up nicely. And while that's doing that, let's go to this one here and connect. Put the second satellite ID chip in here. We don't even need to connect. It does automatically connect. Just this. And that's going up fairly quickly, in fact. I think it goes up faster than the other one. And these two rockets should return to Earth somewhere sometime. Done. So with this look, we should now be getting composition data in here. Not enough power, of course. I haven't got the power done. Oh dear. Let's just do that one. Oops. Well, I'm not quite sure what I did there. Oh, I'm hitting myself on that transceiver. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. I think I need more one more piece of this anyway, so let's just do that and up one and then bring one across here. Like that, and then it should have power. And you can see it's already connected straight away. So it's got now got this has got the 3k buffer, so each one of those um cells data storage units has 1k so I think that's actually another one of his little problem areas so that should now well, let's do this one as well cover everything up so now we should be able to get data and we should be able to get that data into here somehow I'm just wondering how we link these together I know let's try the linker that's the program linker That's also a program linker. That's also a program linker. Let's use. They're all the same, I think. Yes, we don't need we don't need so many. So let's just simply right click, shift right click this on the floor, and then it's an unprogram linker. Let's see if we can link these things across. Coordinates program to linker. So that does work. Now that is. I'm not sure which one of these it is. In fact link successfully so now the data that's in here should disappear so 63 and 12 and these are all saying we've got none at the moment but we should be able to get data in start a buffer so I don't think we need to turn these on yet So now let's if I click connect on here, does that connect the data in here? Huh. What you can do of course is you can do it like this. You can store that data to the chip. Well you should be able to store that data to the chip. 
Oh, it's got distance data in there. It's got nothing in it. Some random data. How oh, brilliant. <laughs> that ain't right. That's supposed to be... This one has got the which mass scanner. It should be giving me mass data. Have I done this wrong? I'm not sure which one of these is mass. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take this one here. This is the composition. So let's just link this composition one across. Now, it doesn't tell you which one of these is which. I wonder if we can figure it out. Not from here, huh? It doesn't tell us what the different types of data is. It just says that it's just data. Well, that's actually not so clever. I should have been able to put a chip into here like this and say store that into the chip and it should store the distance this data what's here the composition data into that and you can it seems to it doesn't matter what I'm clicking here so it doesn't seem to be working at this well, at least for this version of it uh, so I'm not 100% sure how these actually work but I guess that's the way they do work by, by shift right clicking these into that oh okay got one of them my little planters. Sprite. Can we get rid of him? So that I don't know. I'm sorry about that. I think that's how it works, but I'm not 100 percent sure. It should be like that anyway, as far as I can see. Hmm. Anyway, there's a there's a collecting data, and I should be able to put the data into a chip, which is in here. And I don't know why we can't. Unless, what have we got in here? Can we put these chips into here? We can. But does that do anything? I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to put into here. To be honest with you, I think it's. I'm supposed to put these onto um, something else. Where's it gone to? Oh, of course. And you can only see it in my help bar. Well, it does go in. And they're supposed to be pulling data out of here, but I don't know. Doesn't seem to be working to me. And these things are supposed to flash up and down. I'll have to check that actually. Because the other thing is, let's have a look at what we've got. Maybe we need to put an astro mine. It's basically it's what we probably want is a is an asteroid chip. Yes, probably need an asteroid chip. Can we make one of those? Um, do we have any more data chips? We do. Let's take one of these out of here. Let's make an asteroid chip. I think that's what you're supposed to do with this, if I remember rightly. It's been a while, so I probably don't remember rightly. Let's have a look. Let's craft one of these. Unprogrammed asteroid chip. And you're actually supposed to put the asteroid chip into into the data processor itself like this. And that's supposed to be what gets programmed. But with no data in there, it's not going to be able to program this up, is it? So we're a bit stuck on that one. And it doesn't make any difference. It's got power. And it's got data coming in, I guess. That's how it works. Okay, no success there. Let's have a quick look around, see if one of those rockets has returned. And that went, by the way, just turns itself off after, I think after you restart the, com the computer or something like that. Let me 
look in the ocean, see if we see anything in there. Well, doesn't seem to be anything around. Might be too, it might be too soon for the rockets to come back down to Earth again. It would actually be quite nice to have some form of tracking thing on those, wouldn't there? So you could actually come back and find the things. Like a beacon type thing. That would be quite nice. I'd quite like one of those. Maybe I'll put it down as a request. Because I hate searching for rockets. <laughs> Oops, missed. What's there? So the only other thing that I would like to cover is I hope so look, I've been doing some of this. Actually I did some of this in the previous episode. I made an or avoid or avoid or resource minor tier two. Let's put it down. And let's have a look at what the requirements for this one are. So you left click this with the assembler and it gives you a list. So we need 32 structure frames to two or above. Which if right click it should break it. That works nicely now anyway. So that's the hard bit. Because let's have a look at that. I haven't, I haven't made this stuff either by the way. I could I was gonna try to make some of this. So we could, I think I've been grinding some aluminium up ready to make some that's so, because this has got use and so if we get use of this thermite we can make torches thermite torches I don't know how good they are let's put them down I think that's the only use it's got Well, they're like ordinary torches without the. I wonder if they give you a different range. Interesting. I'll just test that. Anyway, that was in the side. I was going to look at tier two structures, wasn't I? So this one, that's a tier five. That's a bit of tier one, this is a tier two. So that needs a tier one plus two rhodium crystals. And we need therefore 64 erodium crystals to be able to make the 32 of those. Not too difficult calculation. But it's going to take a long time because I've only got two after I don't know how long. I think I was looking at starting them yesterday. I'll put that in there. If, it, if I can it'll go away. Good I can. And with that one we can then craft a, one of those. Actually I've got a few in here. Look, let's actually put this away. Put that stuff away. Don't need that with us now. Don't need that with us. Put everything in there that we need to put in there. That one didn't work for whatever reason. I don't ask me why. Probably it's, it should have enough power. Maybe it didn't have enough power to transmit the stuff back. Cause I use basic circuits. But according to the video, I saw it should be okay. So now, tier four, tier three, tier two. Doesn't have those, but we've got, let's put that into there. We've got those in our bag, handy bag. They've got nine of those now, so I've got another 23 to go. So it's gonna take a long time to do this. We get another one. So that's it, basically. <laughs> oh, it'd be nice if it was a bit faster, wouldn't it? Well, actually, I don't mind the weight. You can do other things, and then eventually you'll get them, and that would be great. What did I pick up? Silver ore. Okay, probably don't need silver ore. Can I put that away? No, I can't. Put it in here. So that was the one I picked up from the other thing. Let's take those out of there. Clear that off. Put this back into here with the assembler and the tier four. I 
so I don't know what I'm going to do now I think I've finished this pack there are more things you can do of course with this pack you could sort of easily extend the um, a generator to bring up with a turbine but I covered that last time in the in the forever stranded and I don't think that's changed very much um, going to extend the ME2 system make some more automation but I'm not sure I want, need to do that because the crafting is fairly straightforward at the moment anyway there's nothing that we need to make lots of um, or we maybe could finish the, some of the more quests but I don't think there's much point really so anyway I'm going to say goodbye and I hope you've enjoyed this series and I'll let you know next time bye for now